Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Revzalot. I'm recording with my cell phone, so the audio probably isn't the best, but um, I'll do POV with the GoPro and then record certain things with my camera. And there's Milo's dog hair. Um, but anyways, so let's get to it. What we're going to be doing today is installing this short shifter adapter. I'd say it's about two and a half inches to the front two and a quarter. Now, if I go to fourth, five and three quarters, I'm going by the shift, like the, the silver part here. So if I eye it out, it's about right there. So five and three quarters of an inch. As you can see, the, the travel's not far to begin with. Like that's first, that's second. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so we got a, our first initial crack. This will give me a chance to, to detail in the cracks here where all of Milo's hair is. See all that dirt? So just be gentle. Don't pull too hard because you'll break stuff. And I'm sure I'll break a clip. I'm, I have no doubts about that. But I'm going to try it because you can only learn if you try, right? Oh, there we go. So that wasn't too bad. That came off pretty easy. Look at that, guys. This is this is not too bad so far. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. I'll break it if I say something like that. I'll put a link up um, in the description. I watched a guy do this. I think it's like 512 something. He does like do-it-yourself videos on a 3.5 TL. So it's pretty much the same console. So... Uh, shout out to him for, uh oh, this, push this little tab in here and that'll come right out. I hope my GoPro has enough battery life. Well, my GoPro died, so that's just great. So my GoPro is frozen, won't turn on, won't turn off, won't charge, so... I'm going to try to mount this phone up somewhere so you guys can get a view of what the hell I'm doing. Alright. That works. There. Okay. Now, same thing, same thing on this side. Just kind of pull up. Get it out the tab. Okay. Now... Um, the lighter for this, you just push in the tab in the back and pull down. I got that off. You didn't even have to remove that little silver screw from there. So I'm just going to put the screw back in because you don't got to take that off. You just kind of squeeze and push down. I got one. All right, I'm doing it with two hands. So you push down and then you'll be able to s twist your knob. Oh, yeah. All right. And if you want to change your shifter knob, which I have one in mine, I didn't order it yet, and a new shift boot, so that'll be a future video. Look at that, 25 cents. Making money. There's one in the middle of that, pull out. Now there's just this one clamp left. Okay, so this is the other one. It's got the two tabs on it and you got to push it in and pull down when it's underneath i used a flathead because you can't fit my fingers in there so i i did one side then did the other now for the fun part yes sir this is chinese to me actually it's japanese <laughs> a bad joke all right so once you get that i don't know if that's even necessary but i'm just trying to get this apart to get in there now Probably got to remove this bolt, 10 mil wrench. As you can tell, I don't work on cars often because I didn't lose my 10 mils yet. I wish my GoPro wasn't didn't crap the bed because this is hard to do with one hand. I lost my 10 millimeter bolt way in there and I have no idea what this is. It's hollow inside, I'm ready to just cut it. 
um, because I can get to the other three bolts that hold this in place, but this thing here is in the way. What is this even for, really? Like, you need airflow going in for some reason? Oh, I know what this is. This is for the heater, and that goes to the back seat. So, I could cut it and tape it back together, I guess, but uh, I just don't want to take all these off. I feel like I'm going to break something. You got to take all these side pieces, and I don't know how. I remove these screws here and also here, and it's still like I'm scared to snap something. So, I don't really care. I'll probably end up cutting this and then taping it with the old duct tape because that is driving me nuts. This is starting to loosen up. I just got that one bolt left holding it there, pretty sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that one. So this part right here is making everything 20 times harder than it has to be. It's in the way to try to get this off. It's in the way to try to get this off. It's in the way to get that bolt out. And if this wasn't here, it would be super easy to do. I'd be done by now. But it's not, so um, I'm just trying to figure out how to remove that. All I did was pop that up and it came off. So probably the same thing for the other one. You just got to push your flathead in, push against the tab, and it'll pop off. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. All right, so get that pin out. I can't do it one hand. So I got that off and the washer fell in there, so... Now, I might. Okay. That little blue thing there, you gotta take out that, you gotta take out that pin somehow, and then pop out, and then you'll put your short shifter adapter in. Okay, so as you can see, I popped that out. I got the pin off. I don't know where the pin is. Like this, underneath. So what I did was I separated it, and then pulled down, or pulled back I don't know but it came off and then the um, shifter cable I guess popped popped off there which is what that blue knob sits in so this blue part is what you got to take off and then you put your short shifter adapter where this blue thing is and then you pop this blue part onto the short shifter adapter this I got this one out so what you got to do is you got to twist it counterclockwise uh, about maybe two rotations and then push out it'll pop out so I'm assuming the same thing with this counterclockwise a couple times and lift up okay so I finally got this out of the notch that it was in now I just got to go ahead and let me show you there's a clamp there I got to get that out there's another one behind there. There is one there. And then that white part is clamped in also. There is also another one over there. You can get all these panels off. It'd be 10 times easier. But I, I'm just scared to break something. So I'm not even going to try it. I'm just doing everything from the middle. There is another... There is another clamp holding this here. I broke all three clamp. I broke those two. I am trying to break that one. It just will not come off. Getting dark. You can't see anything. But I'm going to have to break this one off. And hopefully I can lift it up enough to pull it back and break the other two off. All right, so I broke that one off. All right, now I'm gonna break this one off. This one had it off, and it and they always I took like four off, and then they keep popping back in. So, ah, guys, 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 please subscribe. All right, I'm picking this up tomorrow. Uh, I just can't. I I have to finish it. So. I'm going to cut these clamps off. Oh, I have a flash on here. So I went ahead and cut this. Now I'm going and cutting this one off. Yeah, dislike the video if you want. But until you guys try this yourself, if you don't take off all these side panels and you can do it without breaking anything, you're way better than I am but to me 
these clamps. As long as I can get everything back in place, I don't care. I don't care about clamps. Yes! Oh my god, what a friggin' headache. Alright, now I can finally get my 12 millimeter bolt that I lost a while ago. Um, look at all that. Look at that mess. I mean, this is not an easy task, guys. Jeez, I should just replace my shifter cable since I have everything apart. Now, for the fun part, taking this off. At least I can go inside and do this and get out of the cold. Okay, so I've been trying it with the 12 mil and it's all scratching to shit. I didn't even think about trying it with this just to test it. So the 13 hitch, the 12 does not. So that is why that is all scratched to crap. So use the 13. I am just scared to to break the side, so I thought it was too wide, but I'm gonna keep trying the 13. Um, the eight mil, though, can't seem to fit it and pry it with the 13, so I'm gonna try a little bit bigger than the eight mil just to slide it up the collar a little more. We'll see. You see that? So they want to use a 13. You cannot fit anything in there. Even if I push it here, So I'm using a 3 8 Oh! Wow! Okay, that wasn't as hard as I thought once I figured it out. It was a 3 8 and a 13. There's no way an 8's gonna work. There's no way a 3 8 and a 12's gonna work. There's no way a flathead's gonna work. And there's no way trying to pull on it's gonna work. And there's no way that hammering on it with a wrench is gonna work. So, 3 8 13 mil came off in almost my first attempt. And I'm gonna edit everything else out that I tried. Get some on here just to spread it around some. Make sure there's nothing rough in there. I mean, obviously, if you're gonna use grease, you're probably gonna use some new grease, not old grease. But grease is grease, so it's better than nothing. That's all I have. Everything's closed due to coronavirus, so I can't get any grease anyways. There. And that's all smooth. There's no roughness, luckily. Because I thought that old grease might have something in it, but it doesn't. Should be good. I would think. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere so it's a three make sure that's pushed all the way up in there and it is now snug it up same thing on this side apparently if you twist it then close that white part it's only gonna spring back so far never knew that I'm gonna pre pre spring Free spring this one all the way to the left too. There. Hopefully that's a big enough gap to uh, fit this in. Good. Shifter. Just like that. Now this back one. And then I can. Now it's just a matter of get, getting these cords out of your way. Also, there is some bushings that you can get um, that you can put under here that'll make the shifter a little more solid. Unfortunately, everything's closed due to the corona, so I can't be doing that. I woke up three hours early to get there done, but I don't think I'm gonna have time. All right, I'm trying to put the clip over that separate these push it in and yeah you get the idea we're making progress so I got it in the back I got one side on now ta-da
I forgot that I had dropped the washer for that in there. So, um, I'm gonna take everything back all apart. Yeah, friggin' right. Never. I am just gonna go buy another washer. I'll put the cotter pin for now. Um, and, or maybe I'll try to go find a washer in the house. It's, uh, any washer's gonna do. Just as long as it'll fit right up to that cotter pin hole. So a washer maybe about that wide. Plugging in everything that was unplugged. <sighs> At least I can see this one. Get on there. Getting better at this shit. So now when I get my V6 Accord, I'll be able to do all the same shit to it. But I'm going to completely gut it, so I ain't putting it all back together. I'll just leave it in the open. It'll be a lot easier. Especially with that K-Tune clutch assembly, K-Tune shifter, whole shifter adapter thing. So subscribe if you want to see a full bolt-on tune gutted Accord. You guys are like, I want to see a full bolt-on tune friggin' TL. But, I don't know. I'd like another car just in case this one breaks from driving the bag off it. Then I'll have another one to break. There's no way that's first. Ah, da, da, da. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Can't wait to measure. I swear, I probably shaved like an inch off the shift. I didn't break that clip. I didn't break the bottom clip, that clip, so I only broke three of the seven. Alright, so I found a washer, um, it's a little too small, so all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to drill it and make it wider. Alright, well if this doesn't work, I'm done, because I'm running out of time and I want this together. This thing here... Now I'm just wrapping these around. I mean, this washer isn't as wide as I would have liked, but it's better than nothing. Blue. I'm blue, if I were green, I would die. All right. Up. Oh, clip, clip, clip. Clip. There we go. Oh, this took me a total of way too many hours probably like six or seven hours cuz I that getting it out was literally the hardest part and taking off that blue shifter bushing was another pain in the butt but once I figured it out that part was pretty easy I just need time clip 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 Yeah, I wish it revved that fast. Five and a little over five and a half, so half an inch on the fourth. Third is right at the three, whereas before it was at two and a half. So, yeah, like I said, shaved about an inch with the uh, throw. Nice. TL's not a race car. Well, it's gonna be. All right, this is awesome. Look at that. That is. Huh. Oh, I find it shifts so much better now. Oh, I can't wait to bang some gears. Guys, that is amazing. Guys, this is awesome. Got to do this to your TL or Accord or whatever J series you have cuz this works great. It's not even that expensive, it just takes a lot of time to install. good 
all the gears work fine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's it. So, I installed it. Took me probably six to seven, six to eight hours probably with everything. And keep in mind, I've never done anything like this before. So, um, all in all, it was, it was a good experience. I learned how to do something I've never done before. And I could do it again. I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to do it again, but I'd do it again if I had to. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.